What is up, everyone? You're back at the Clever TV studio. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey, guys. With Nathan Cress in the studio. Hello. Oh, that was nice. It's my falsetto. Did you like that? That was very nice. It was beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're excited because a lot of new stuff is coming up for iCarly. Exciting new shows. Mm -hmm. um, can we start off maybe with the bloopers? Yes. Because that's something we all love to watch. Absolutely. Me too. Especially. And honestly, I really don't, and most actors feel this way, I hate watching myself. I will watch like an episode of iCarly just to see how it turned out and just see how everything came together. But after that, if my family, if my mom is like, I want to watch this episode of iCarly, I'd go upstairs. Ah! I can't do it. <laughs> so I hate watching myself. But the blooper episode, the last one that we did, was the one that I will watch repeatedly because it was just us goofing off and being ourselves. Um, so is there an entire storyline throughout, or is it literally blooper after blooper after blooper? The the storyline for that one, it was it was almost like half reality. Like it was uh, Miranda calling Jerry into her office, which was the iCarly studio with a desk in it, and uh, it was it was all about. Jerry having subpar performance because he messes up all the time. But then he's like, no, look, see, oh, everybody Jerry else messes Trader. up. Yeah. So he's, he like pulls out the iCarly TV and, uh, and brings up everybody else's bloopers to prove that he's not the only one. Ah. Um, but for this one, it was actually, this one was started, I guess, by an episode of Victorious where Rex is actually a talk show host um, <laughs> named uh, Cri Christopher Kane, I think. Um, and so he's like his own other person, like he's not actually controlled by Robbie or whatever. So there's this whole episode about that, and they actually they carried it over and they made it into a Victoria segment where I actually filmed one of them, and it's I guess it's on the slap.com where I play myself. Um, but they carried it over, and for this new one called Electric Bloopaloo, uh, <laughs> it's nice the, name. Yeah, Bye. I love that name. Um, they have the entire iCarly cast on on that show and. J hijinks ensue and then through the course of that our blooper reels get played so uh i actually i have not seen it uh apparently jeanette has and she really? said it was really funny um there's i guess a whole montage i found out of me uh yawning <laughs> on oh! set which is interesting <laughs> i didn't realize that i yawn that much but i guess i'm about to be proven wrong because i never really feel like i'm that tired when i'm on set but i guess i yawn all the time enough to make a montage out of it so uh <laughs> I'm very funny. excited to see how that turns out, um, but that was that was a really funny episode because we're you know, we're just able to be ourselves and we don't really have to do act, anything, you know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it'll it'll be really fun. I I don't know when exactly that's coming out, but that, I think that's definitely going to be one of my favorite episodes. Hilarious! Nice. Now, if that's not already enough, you also have none other than the first lady of mm -hmm. the United States, Michelle Obama, appearing on an upcoming episode as well. Yeah. Talk about uh, a guest star. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What was that day like, shooting? That was such a surreal day. That whole week was, was just weird. I remember the the weeks leading up to it, we didn't really know what was going on because we we were asked by the by the production crew um, to submit our social security numbers. Um, <laughs> and to, you didn't know why. Yeah. So oh, we, wow. But we figured it had to be because, like, somebody was going to be there. You yeah. know? So we didn't know who and we didn't know for what. Um, but we, our first, I guess our first thought was somebody of the first family was going to be there. Whoa. Um, so that was pretty cool. Uh, and then we eventually got the confirmation and it was extremely exciting. And rehearsal was a little bit weird because she wasn't there except for that one day. Uh -huh. um, so we actually, we shot, I'm, I'm pretty sure we had rehearsal and then we shot all the scenes that she wasn't in. And then we had uh, another day where it started really early and we all... She got there early and we all met at the beginning of the day and then we rehearsed our scenes really quick uh, before she got there and then she came in and then we shot them really fast. But she only had literally one day, but she had so many scenes and a oh. lot of complicated dialogue and stuff. Uh -huh. So all we had time for for the shooting was to shoot her angle of everything and all the ones where we're in the shot together. So then we shot all of those in different pieces and then she left to go off and do her next event and then we finished all the scenes looking wow. at a stand-in. So it was it was crazy, and it was probably I think honestly it was the fastest we've ever shot in in the history of iCarly, That's which amazing. is is definitely a testament to her because she had big chunks of dialogue wow. that that she was having to to have memorized and, and mm -hmm. perform believably too, like in in the first scene um, where we see her, she's sitting with Spencer on the couch eating spaghetti tacos, and she's <laughs> laughing at something that he's saying, and fortunately, 
she didn't have to fake it too much because Jerry's just that funny. But one of the <laughs> hardest things to do as an actor is to laugh believably, you know, to think that something's funny even when it's really not that funny. But she was doing it every single take. Wow. So she was really, really good. And then eventually we get her to random dance and do all this stuff. <laughs> That's it, so cool. It was awesome. And she, she told us in between takes, she was like, my girls were teaching me moves so as not to embarrass when, I, when nice. we filmed. So I guess uh, her, her daughters gave her some pointers for her random dancing nice. before the fact. So she did, she did amazingly well. And it mm -hmm. was so cool having her. And she was super nice and just, you know, completely unpresumptuous and... And everything, and she she was awesome to work with. Can you so that was that was a highlight. Nice. Of the Can you tell us a little bit about the storyline for this particular episode? Yes. Um, basically, it all centers around Carly's dad's birthday, um, which is coming up, and he's supposed to uh, to have a chance to do some R and R back home, so he can come back and have his birthday with his family. And then uh, I guess his assignment gets changed, and he's not able to come back. But Carly makes this whole birthday party and plans all this stuff out, and she finds out about it, and she's really sad. But um, Sam and Freddie figure out a way to patch into a secure military network or whatever and do a little video chat with him. And so live on iCarly, we're able to have a little mini birthday party. Um, and it's conveniently enough, there's too much static to be able to see him, but he's able to like type in. So they're still mm -hmm. sort of able to have a conversation. Um, so it wasn't as good as dad coming home, but it was, it was still something. So, so nice. you know, Sam and Freddie wanted to do that for her. But then, you know, hacking into a secure military network also has its consequences. Uh -oh. And uh, the Secret Service shows Don't up. Don't try this at home, <laughs> Yes, exactly. Do not try this no. at home. Uh, the Secret Service shows up and says that somebody wants to talk to us, you know. So we think we're all in trouble and everything. And then it's the First Lady who is saying, you know, she's proud of us for, for doing this for, uh, for our friend. And it's, it's all kind of going along with her uh, initiative for military for family Street support. Family. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's awesome. So it was all, it all kind of, it all kind of fits together. But it, that was a super fun episode. Um, and we had an awesome time working with her and promoting something so worthwhile. Once in a lifetime experience. Absolutely. So cool. Yeah. Awesome. Random dance. <laughs> love it. <laughs> Who would you really love good. to have guest star on the show? Oh, if man. you could have anyone. I, I guess I would want to see somebody who really doesn't do comedy, but who we know could. You know, like, I, for example, Carly's dad. I really want Carly's dad to be somebody like, if they got like George Clooney to so be Carly's unexpected. dad, you know, yeah. like something awesome. totally. But he like he has like that military, you know, demeanor to right. him, so he uh -huh. could totally play that off. But I could totally see him being really funny too. Yeah, you know, so I think that would be a super cool guest star if we had, you know, George Clooney or, or somebody of that caliber as as Carly's dad. Well, it's out since there, you, it can happen. Since there you, you had go, George. Obama, you could totally <laughs> have like George Clooney as exactly. well. If I we mean, could have the first the bar lady. is set high. <laughs> there you go. I don't know how we're gonna top it this next season. We'll see. There's got to be somebody crazy. Oh. I'm sure there will. There's got to be. I can't wait to see. And we're very excited about these upcoming episodes. Yeah. Thanks for filling us in. Me too, absolutely. All the deets. Oh, yes. And thanks to you guys for checking out Clever TV. Make sure you keep it here for more deets on these upcoming iCarly episodes. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis and Nathan Kress, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye.